What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got another viewer's car. This is Gerkes Alfa Romeo GT. The 3.2 liter V6 Busso version. So you know it's going to be good. Uh, this is a 2008 car which means that it is a facelift model because it got a facelift in 2007. They were built from 2004 until 2010. And funnily enough, it actually coexisted next to the other Alfa Coupe, the Brera, which is kind of strange, offering two basically the same recipes, but the Brera, of course, didn't get the Busso. So today I'm going to review this Busso powered GT. I'm going to walk around it, show you all the stuff that Gerke has done to it, and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for a little Autobahn blast. Now, there's one way you can see that this car is a facelift model. That's because you get all that chrome in the front bumper. Uh, that was updated. Um, it's quite a unique design as well, because this is a Bertone car, which means that you've got a little plaque here. Designo Bertone. And um, it, it actually has quite small light units, both at the front and at the rear, but it kind of works. It looks a bit funky. It's, it has a bit of Alpha 147 at the front as well. It's actually based on the 156. So it's quite a spacious car. But I don't hate it. I think it, it, it's, it's quite beautiful actually. And of course we've got the classic Alpha grill with the license plate next to that. Um, these wheels are from a QV, which was a special edition uh, released in the UK and Germany. Very, very nice wheels, 18 inch. And we've got Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires wrapped around that. Really, really nice. Uh, we've got Bosch performance uh, braking pads as well just to improve braking performance a little bit. And at the rear, we've got Ferrodo braking pads. Uh, this also has a KW V1 suspension kit. So that should stiffen everything up a little bit, give it a bit more of a sporty character. At the rear, we've got, as you can see, a Ragazzon exhaust. Very nice. The GT V6 facelift uh, already had a dual exhaust on the left, uh, but this is a different one. Looks pretty nice. And he also had two catalytic converters removed. So there are two uh, in the front and two behind the engine. And the two behind the engine are gone, I think. Or the two in front, I don't know. Two are gone. So we've got two left. And that just means that the car sounds a bit louder. Now you can see those little rear lights. It's kind of strange. It's kind of a strange look because you've got that short high rear with those tiny lights, but I, I do kind of like it. I think it's, it's a funky little coupe. And it actually has, let's show that as well. It has proper trunk space. So this is a really, I mean, is it a two plus two? I mean, it's a bit cramped in the back, but you do have a lot of boot space, which is nice. It's, it's a real GT. You can take a lot of crap with you. So let's check out the engine. The beautiful Busso 3.2 liter V6. Stock, we've got 240 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque, but this car has had uh, a remap. And it has those two cats removed. So this does deliver a little bit more power than stock. But that is so gorgeous. One of my favorite things to open the bonnet and see that beautiful engine. So nice. Okay. On the interior, this car actually looks really good. I mean, it's from 2008, as I said. But still, I mean, all the plastics look really good. It's done 96,000 kilometers and it shows. The seats, very good condition still. All the leather on the doors is great. Uh, he did get the steering wheel rewrapped in new leather and restitched. But that looks very, very good. Little coin uh, thing or card thing and a cup holder. 
It's not bad. I mean, it, it's, it's quite nice and spacious in here for such a relatively small car. The seats themselves are good. I mean, they're nice and comfy and snug, but the seating position is a bit weird uh, as they are most of the time in uh, Italian cars. So let's start it up. And you can immediately hear that dark rumble. Yeah, that's a very nice sound. That's a proper Italian V6 sound. Now, the gearbox, we've got a six-speed manual. Uh, not great. Very, very flimsy, if I may say so. Uh, it's, it's not a very sporty gearbox. And I know that Alpha positioned this car as a GT, but still, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a little sporty, right? But the gearbox is is quite loose you've got this massive gear lever it's, it's very long which doesn't really help uh, yeah it's not great but the rest of the drivetrain I mean the engine is really really nice that sound is always there I mean that is just lovely he also installed a Q2 limited slip diff which came from the q2 uh, which was a special edition with a limited slip diff with the 1.9 liter turbocharged diesel engine quite odd to have like that that was the only version that offered a limited slip diff the 1.9 liter diesel q2 version uh, they did release some other special edition which i believe may, maybe that was the qv as well uh, the one where the wheels also belong that also had uh, the limited slip diff but this one the V6 never had it that is nice it's a very raw sound with that exhaust It's quite, it, it's very raspy. Always a word I like to use, raspy. Oh, the turning circle is absolutely massive. Now, handling wise, because we have that KW V1 set, I mean, you do feel that the, the suspension, the, the chassis, it, it is quite good. It's quite, firm and it responds pretty well but the feel you get through the steering wheel is not great so you don't really feel what is happening uh, to those front wheels but it is a nice steering wheel the, the steering wheel itself is pretty good I would say uh, you've got those nice creases here and yeah of course we've got that fresh leather which also helps so 0 to 100 stock this car should be able to do 6.7 seconds turn off traction control right there Martijn was able to do a 6.3 earlier when he was recording the Autobahn POV and he said that he thought it could be even faster because even though this car does have that Q2 limited slip diff you don't really feel that because when you try to launch this car and you, you try to dump the clutch it will just spin through so it, it doesn't have the ability to take that beating and just turn it into traction you know it just spins it wheels or one wheel uh, so if you would have proper traction it would be way quicker but it's one of the reasons that 6.3 0 to 100 is one of the reasons that led us to believe that this car has quite a bit more power than stock so we do have that remap of course we have those two catalytic converters that have been removed a more free-flowing exhaust so I don't know it just feels like it's quite a bit more powerful than stock 
it picks up really nicely. Now the red line has also been moved up, so stock it's 7000 RPM. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's where the red starts. Uh, this car it's 7200, 7250, so should be able to extract a little bit more from that engine as well. Now let's take it to the Autobahn and see how it feels over there. Yeah, it actually it grips pretty well, but you don't really feel how far you can go through the steering wheel, which is always nice to have. Here we go! Yep, we're going to get in front of that Audi. can't see the speedo but that doesn't matter because we're going to the top speed let's go seven thousand and he's going left don't know what that was 240 on the speedo something like that that's not bad it actually pulls through pretty well it still has some power, this, this Alpha. So from 100 to 200, we also measured that, of course, 15.96 seconds, which is, I mean, that's seriously quick. Uh, manual VW Golf R32 Mark V does 19 seconds with 250 horsepower. So this is seriously quick. I mean, it is impressive. And the top speed uh, we've been able to do 247 GPS, something like that. So it still has some power and I mean, it definitely has a little bit more power than stock. So it's got that tune, it's got that exhaust. It is a really nice, crisp Alpha GT, I have to say. I love that Busto engine, love the exhaust. So Gerke, really cool car. Thank you so much for bringing it to us. I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video right here or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye guys.